Hi, I'm Dr. Janine Krippen of Volcanologist, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Roman. I'm a volcanologist at the Carnegie Institution for Science in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got a couple of questions about how deep is how deep is magma coming from? I know it's a super complicated question, but what can you tell us about that? That is a very complicated question, and and really it depends on what tectonic setting you're talking about. So so generally the answer is. It starts in the Earth's mantle, but the depth to the mantle varies from place to place on Earth. Uh, under the oceanic crust, it's only about 10 kilometers, but in other parts uh, of the continents, it can be tens of kilometers. Um, furthermore, we don't know, you know, that's the upper bound. We know it starts in the mantle, but uh, we don't know how deep in the mantle. So in subduction zones, we can say that it starts above the subducting plate, so somewhere around 100 kilometers. But in places like hot spots or um, in areas of rifting, um, there's a big debate about just how deep it melting starts to create magma. Wow, that is really complicated. So, and there's, there's also different stages of the magma pooling and kind of sitting there for a while too, right? Right, so we've started to think about it as, you know, magma is basically any component of melt once while it's still underground, but we've started to think about it more as percentage of eruptible melt. So what's being generated in the mantle, you probably wouldn't really think of as eruptible, whereas when it starts to get up into the crust and pool and collect more melt, then uh, it becomes more like what we envision in magma in the, about the upper 10 kilometers of the crust. Wow, thank you so much for <laughs> all of that information in a short time. Thank you for joining